Hello, this is Mitchell Alistair Chess Noob, learning and having fun with chess. Today I'm going to go through a little bit more about the Vienna game. Specifically, what do we do when the opponent with the black pieces responds to the Vienna with d6? So, what do we mean by that? Let's have a look. e4, e5, knight c3, so the beginning of the Vienna, and now d6. So this is a Philidor's defense ish, uh, you know, response to the Vienna. So if we had played the other knight, this would be Philidor defense. Now the most common responses uh, to the Vienna is one of the knights. So we've got the Folkbeer and the Max Lang. This is the third most common response, as we can see from the Lee Chess uh, community database of uh, Rapid and Blitz uh, of lower rated players. It's about 10% of the time. So we do need to know what to do. Now it's pretty clear when you think about it what the best response should be. So general opening principles, one of the basic tactics, if you can take the full center you should do so. So the best move for white here is to play the immediate d4. So not to do anything else, just to play d4. Black should take we can capture back with queen, which is what we do. Now the opponent here might think that they're going to win a bit of tempo, but one of the things here is that in this position we've actually got a lot of options, which is actually good for us. And many of these op options are all fine. So firstly we could potentially pin the knight with our bishop, or we could retreat our queen, and our queen can go all the way back to d1, that's perfectly fine if we want to play very conservatively, or we could move to one of these two squares as well. In this game I opted to play queen to e3, and I often don't like playing to d3 because you know there's the immediate potential attack by the, uh, by the knight, so that's what I did. And as you can see, a number of different moves, queen to here, here or here, or bishop to pin the knight to the king. And all of these options are basically fine. White remains ahead with any of these options, which goes to show that there is a bit of a problem with the Philidor-ish defense with d6 against the Vienna. In this game, my opponent developed the other knight, and I just play uh, provocatively. Like, you know, uh, you know, what are they going to do? It looks like, you know, I want to trade knights. I do take back with the pawn. This is obviously good for me. And here, I'm already ahead. So this is a mistake by, by white. I think it's about plus two and a half or so. Here, the knight obviously has to move away from that square. This is the best uh, square given that I've got a check. Uh, however, unfortunately they wanted to keep their knight further forward. This knight is pinned, and what do we do with pinned pieces? Place pressure on the pinned piece. So f4, and this knight is now basically lost. So takes, they can take back, that's fine, I take. Sockfish suggests now to be a little bit more conservative and develop rather than immediately capturing back. However, my opponent with the black pieces in this tournament cracked. You know, they probably could have just castled. They wanted to get their king out of the pin, uh, having, you know, suffered from a pin already. But now the king is really stuck on this side of the board. For the rest of the game, uh, I'm really just consolidating, develop my pieces, and then going in for the attack. I think in this position it's actually about plus seven. Much so, a depth is much worse than what uh, this evaluation bar would suggest at this point. So now let's develop. That's fine. Move the queen out of the way. Uh, now develop, develop. Uh, that's fine. Let's trade. So trading pieces is fine, given that I'm a piece up. Now uh, let's uh, let's short castles. And look, you know, this is so bad <laughs> for for black. So you know they want to potentially hold, um, you know, defend against that pawn. That's fine. You know here potential attack. Moving forward, that's okay. I'll just jump my knight out of the way. And fundamentally, they're just not fast enough. You can see there's apparently a mate in 13, but you know, it's absolutely devastating now. Absolutely devastating. Check. King tries to jump out of the way, but 
block check. They try to block check. Uh, you know, they try to run the king check. They try to run. And here, actually, I don't play the most uh, most accurately. There's apparently a uh, mate in five, uh, but the path to that required me to play, I think, uh, queen to c4, which I suppose isn't terribly obvious. But what that looks like is queen to c4, uh, king now has to sort of, ex uh, sort of hide on sort of b8, there's sort of nothing else that they can do. Take with check, they have to take back, uh, but now we've got a check in this direction, which I couldn't see before. They have to block, uh, capture, and now that is basically mate like that. So that's a little bit of a, you know, I think this was uh, potentially a pretty ha a hard to see move, so I didn't see that. Instead, here uh, I played this move, uh, which it's pretty similar, I suppose. A king here. Uh, what I saw was take. They have to take back. But now pinned. They have to take. I get to have a check again. King has to jump out of the way. And I completely liquidate uh, my opponent's pieces. So that's a sequence I saw. Uh, and basically here it's, you know, it's really just hunting the king down. Uh, and, you know, basically that forms a new king, uh, a new queen. Here they opted to resign because um, with the queen and queen, the king must move here, uh, and then I've got mate there. Good game, GG. My big takeaway from this game is to know that the d4 is the correct response against the Philidorish defense, d6 against the Vienna game. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.